Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia no comienzo. In a church, you can call home. If you don't have a church, come join us. Amen. A church alive is worth the drive. Why? It's alive because we teach from the Word. And the Word of God is alive. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father. Oh, welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. He's not finished with you. Amen. He's called you. He's equipped you. And now it's up to us to equip our, um, um, prepare ourselves to step yeah. out in faith. Amen. Amen. And our message today is going to be about staying focused. Amen. Yeah. we got to stay focused on Him. Amen. Yeah. All the time because there's going to be all kinds of distractions. You know, and... Uh, so before we do that, grab your Bibles and uh, I'm ready to preach, amen. <laughs> grab your Bibles, soldier of God, warrior, warrior, not warrior, warrior. <laughs> grab your Bibles, make this declaration with me, amen. amen. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. This is my I have what it says I am. am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God, man. That is good. Yes. Hallelujah. Stay in focus. You know, uh, so many things, so many ways we can go with this, but the world is focused. They're focused on their jobs. They're working. They're working. Uh, focused on the things they do. Yeah. And they're focused, I guarantee you, they're focused, amen? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't even apply that to being focused on Him, on mm -hmm. Him, amen? We're focused on anything else no. except Him. I All guarantee right. you, my military career, we stay focused and we stay battle ready all yeah. the time. We as soldiers of God, we need to stay focused on Him and we need to be ready for battle. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the word in you, you ain't ready for battle. You're not ready. Because we're fighting a spiritual battle. And you physically are no match to a spiritual battle. You need the word of God. You got to get the word in you yes. so the word can come out of you. Amen. amen. Come on now. We can say amen and go home now. <laughs> but the world is focused. Yes. Amen. On what they do. We need to be focused as children of God. Mm -hmm. As believers, we need to be focused on Him amen. at all times. You know, because... There's all kinds of distractions coming at you at all times. I have right. some good, uh, some good uh, slides for you, and this one right here says, "Stay focused." <laughs> Amen. We have a mission, and we gotta fulfill our mission. I don't know how many times I've said this, but God has called you. He's called you. He put you here for a reason. Yeah. Now, what do I do, Lord? What is it you want me to do? You got a call in my life, and you've equipped me. Now I want to step out in faith. Uh -huh. I guarantee you, if you're not full of the word, you ain't going to step out of faith. Because yes, yes. fear is going to stop you. Yeah. Amen. Fear and all kinds of distractions are going to just come against you and say, I can't do that. That's not what the word of God says. It says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens you. Uh -huh. Keep going, Carmen. Here we go. Woohoo! We got to be focused, man. We got to hit the target. When you're focused, you can hit the target. Amen. When you're focused and you're with Him, and spending time with him before you go into the world, man, you're going to hit the target every time. You're going to do what he wants you to do. And you're going to fulfill what he wants you to fulfill. Amen. Yes. Stay in focus. Hit the target. Amen. And we can do that because he says we can do all things through Christ, through him. Keep going. Okay, there you go. You want an acronym here for uh, follow? It says follow one, follow one course until uh, successful. We're going to follow him until we're successful. And you know what? When he calls us home, <laughs> we're, good. we're successful. We're with him. We're successful. Yes. Amen. Don't see yourself a loser. Don't see yourself the way the world says or the way people say about you. Yeah. See yourself successful. Yeah. See yourself a winner. See yourself a champion. See yourself an overcomer. See uh -huh. yourself all these things. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Not the way the world sees you. You ain't never going to please him. But you know what? Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah, man. We can amen and go home. I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. Stay focused so you can what? Finish well. Finish well what God has called you to do. 
We're going to finish what God has called us to do. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, I mean, the whole time, he had opportunities to just back down. Mm -hmm. He said he was human, man. So, you know, on a daily basis, we have opportunities to say, you know what? Hey, I want to quit. Forget about this. Give it up. He kept going. Lord, I need your strength. says, Father, I need your strength. We say, Lord. He said, Father. He said, Father, I need your strength. Yeah. Well, if we're his children, he's our Heavenly Father, too. He said, Heavenly uh -huh. Father, I need your strength. Yes. To finish this day. Mm -hmm. I need your strength to finish this mission you put me on. Yeah. But we're going to finish. When he was at the cross, before he gave himself back to the Father, he says, forgive him. Yes. Basically, he's saying, you know, forgive him, Father, because my mission is finished. Huh. I have finished my mission. My mission. Mission. Yes. <laughs> I finished my course. Uh -huh. I finished this race that you have set me on. I am completed in uh -huh. Him. Amen. That's what He was saying. And then He says, "Forgive Him." Uh -huh. And thank God He said that. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. But He's called us. God has called you to do. You see where it says the "you" there? Scratch it and put your name. Yeah. Because He's called you. He didn't put you here by mistake. And he didn't put you here to forget about you. It's right. the world and things and distractions that make you lose focus mm -hmm. of who you are and whose you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's time for you to come home. It's time for you to focus and say, wow, yeah. he put me here. He, I'm his. That's right. You're his. Yes. <laughs> Jesus paid a price he didn't have to pay. That's it. And you owe a debt you cannot pay. That's right. So the best thing for you to do is be obedient. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> But God has called you. Yeah. You include yourself. Don't just be a participator. Don't just be a spectator. Yeah. And nobody called you to be a spectator or That's a it. judge. That's Everybody it. does it wrong except me, you know. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. He called you to do. You. That's including you. So include yourself. Keep going. Amen. Man, I like these. Where'd you get them from? <laughs> Stay focused and what? Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. What do we want to do on a daily basis? We just want to give it up. Man, mm -hmm. you know, you could have two teams playing each other and they could have the worst. You could have one with the undefeated record and you could have one with a losing record. But guess what? They'll get one with a losing record. They're going to give it all they got to mm -hmm. beat you. Yes, they will. Don't give up. Don't give it up. Amen. That's it. You got to stay focused. And I said, man, I can do all things through Christ. All Best thing for you to do is, remember, stir yourself up. Yeah. Stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. You know, because nobody's going to stir you up. As a matter of fact, you go share something with somebody and they, they're going to tell you, oh, man, I got worse problems than you. No, boy. <laughs> I can't stir you up. I can't, I can't cheer you and I can't encourage you, man, because I'm always down. Uh. Hmm? Yeah. Wow. So yeah. stay focused. Talking about you and never give it up. That's it. You know how many opportunities you it don't say, but you know how many opportunities Jesus had to give yeah. it up. Yeah. He gave up heaven to come here. Mm -hmm. And then people treated him ugly. Mm -hmm. How many times do you think he thought about you know, Father? Yeah. I don't have to put up with this. I know what heaven's like. Yeah. I can go back home. I don't have to put up with this mess. But you know, he was pleasing the Father. Yes. Amen. And he agreed to come and complete his mission. So you stay focused and, and please him and, and, and complete your, your mission. Yes, Amen. Yes. Keep going. Man, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, mm -hmm. we're going to stop here and then we're going to read some more. We got some scriptures to go over. Stay focused. Don't lose distractions. Don't, Don't let distractions uh -huh. get you uh -huh. off course. Of course. That's it. Amen. Distractions is going to get you off course. I don't care where you're going. Mm -hmm. you, there are going to be some distractions. You're going to yep. lose course. So we got to do what? Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Amen. Stay focused. Renew your mind to the yes. things of God. Because the world's going to throw you all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. It's going to throw you all kinds of distractions. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to say, wow. Mm -hmm. Spend time with Him. Lord, I need your help. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stay focused on Him and don't lose track. Just get right back. You know, He gave us that GPS in us, you know, that Holy Spirit mm -hmm. <laughs> to guide you and be right there. I'm not losing distraction. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is your choice. You choose to do the right thing, not the wrong thing. Amen. Because 
distractions are going to come. Yeah. And you're not exempted. Amen. Praise God. All right. Listen, stay focused. Stay faithful. Stay yeah. committed. Pay attention. Absorb. Focus me. Absorb. I mean, absorb. How many times I've told you? Just be like a like a mm -hmm. like a sponge. Like a sponge. Huh? Amen. Absorb all these things, mm -hmm. you know, what the word of God has for you. Read it and just sponge it all mm -hmm. up. Absorb all those yes. things, you know. Stay dedicated. Right. Stay devoted. Stay mm -hmm. fixed. Stay mm -hmm. motivated. Stay yeah. passionate. Yeah. And stay positive. Amen. Amen. Don't good. get to a point where you think <laughs> you're better than anybody else. If mm -hmm. that's the case, you know, you need to get saved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stay focused. Yes. Amen. Jesus never treated anybody that way. That's right. Amen. If we're going to copy him, imitate him, be imitators of him, we don't get to where we got a big head, you know? Yeah. And think we know better than, we know more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's about. No. Jesus died for souls. Amen. Yes, he did. And he didn't die just for certain people, he died for all souls. All souls. All of us. Amen. He didn't look at colors. He looked at souls. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Let's remember this. And we got to do all this in the negative world. Mm -hmm. And you got to go out there every day. He yeah. didn't call you to stay in your little comfy spot. No. Amen. You know, hey, football's back. <laughs> Let's oh, hurry up, you know. Us, Game's us. coming on. <laughs> he didn't call you to stay in your little comfy spot. He wants you to be full of him so that yes. you can go and share uh -huh. the good news. Amen. It's a negative world. It's a bad world out there. Uh -huh. Bad things happening. So let's go open your Bibles. Okay. We're going to use the Word of God. A scripture that you already know. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. Uh -huh. Let's read it anyway. Let's go to Ephesians. Book of Ephesians. Uh -huh. And we all know this. Oh, Pastor, I already know this. Well, it's good. Let's, let's, let's learn it again. Ephesians. Uh, chapter 4, verse 13. I'm going to read it to you in the uh, King James and the Amplified. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, Ephesians 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Uh -huh. verse and verse uh, 13. Oh, okay. It says, uh, mine says this. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go to Philippians. <laughs> Philippians. Philippians 4. See, I was just testing you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing you and you didn't say anything. You didn't even yeah. catch it. <laughs> oh, Philippians uh, 4 and thir verse 13 says what? I can do, I all can do some do. things. All wrong things. Are you sure? Yes. Are you reading the right Bible? It says I. Who's I? Yes, me. That's you, okay? So remember that. You see I scratch it and you put your name there. It says I can do. I can. All things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh -huh. So don't exclude yourself, include yourself. Yeah. Because he's got a calling on you. It says, I can do yes. all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. me. Amen. Let me read it to you from the uh, Amplified. Let me read it. I've got it here already wrote. But it says, I can do all things which he has called me to do. He has called to you. You never seen it this way? Now you know, which he has called me to do. Amen. So he's called you through him who strengthens and empowers me. You're doing it with his power. He's empowered yes. you. Amen. Amen. To fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Yes. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses, he bathes, fills, uh, imparts me with inner strength to inner strength and confidence uh, peace yes. so uh, to be assured to be poised amen I put this uh, he infuses me I put bathe and fill in part amen mm -hmm. I mean I'm just bathing all this in the word amen so praise God um, the negative uh, let me see okay okay now you're already you're real close. The next book next to that is Colossians. Colossians three and two. Go to Colossians three and two, and see what it says. Colossians three and two says what? Set your mind. 
set your mind set set your affections on things above and not on things of the world the new king james says set your mind on things above and not things on the earth now the amplifier says this set your mind and keep focus habitually on the things yes. on the things above the heavenly things and not things that are on the earth which uh -huh. have only temporal value right set your eyes on things mm -hmm. above so you know what if you want to get high get high on the most high yeah <laughs> amen he'll keep you high and there's no uh, bad side effects amen stay high stay focused on the most high that's what he's saying it says set your mind and keep focused stay focused on the most high talking about heavenly things amen we need we need to do this amen so write these down and uh if you don't get them see me afterwards proverbs 4 25 let's go to proverbs 4 25 we're all over the place eh? I tell you, hey if you're going to come bring your bible if not we have some in the back you can use you use the word of god uh proverbs 4 25 4 25 says and let thine eyes look straight on. And let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Mm -hmm. Now, the God World Translation says this. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your sight be focused in front of you. Mm -hmm. Stay focused straight ahead in front of you. Amen. Because the world, your, your flesh, remember? You're trying yeah. to be in spirit, soul, body. And your flesh is going to yeah. encounter all kinds of distractions. If yeah. you have not fed your spirit man the word of God if you have not renewed your mind with the word of God your flesh is going to want to follow all these distractions yeah. amen but it says here uh, Proverbs 4.25 in the uh, God's word translation says let your eyes stay straight ahead and your sight be focused in front of you because it's going to be remember uh -huh. all kinds of distractions coming your way yeah. and that's on a daily basis yeah okay it's not just once in a while that's well i'm it. a believer i don't have to worry about those things anymore no. <laughs> i don't think do. so <laughs> and uh let's go to another one it's probably we're in proverbs okay so just go down the road there to uh, chapter book 16 proverbs 16 and verse 3 16 3 there right I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified too. Okay. Proverbs uh, 16 and 3 says, Commit thy works unto who? The Lord. The Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. established. This uh, version here, the easy to read version says, Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Yeah. He's got plans for you. Yeah. He's not finished with you. He's got plans for you. So if he's got plans for you, that means you have to visit with him. Yeah. So he can share them with you and give them to you. Right. Amen. And he'll show you what he wants Amen. you to do. Amen. So praise God. The Amplified says this. Amplified says, Roll your works upon the Lord. Commit and trust them wholly to him. And he will cause your thoughts to be and become agreeable to his will yes. and so shall your plans be established and succeed so commit your works to the lord submit and trust them to him and your plans will succeed if you respond to his will and guidance amen so every one of us has a plan he's got a plan uh -huh. for every one of us he didn't exclude any of us that's it don't put yourself aside the world says these things. The world says you're disqualified. No. The world says you're not qualified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God says, I have a calling on you. Yeah. And you need to visit with him and stay focused on what he tells you to do. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I hope you're highlighting some of these things. Now yeah. let's go to Second Timothy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, I got you busy, yeah? Huh? Yes. <laughs> That's all right. I like this. Second Timothy is right after first. Yeah. <laughs> boy, boy. Second Timothy one and one and uh, one seven. We all we all know we all know these scriptures. I'm just reading them to you. It says, 
verse uh, 2 Timothy verse uh, chapter 1 verse uh, 7 for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind amen and uh, Amplify says this for God did not give us a spirit of in, a timidity yes. of cowardness or craving or uh, cringing or falling fear but he has given us a spirit of power love and of a calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and will and self-control amen so yeah self-control the uh, word uh, word of god translation says this god didn't give us a cowardly spirit but a spirit of power of love and of good judgment yeah that's good amen when you're focused on him uh -huh. you're gonna have good judgment yeah yeah people want to know why you picked that mm -hmm. you know i have good judgment god has given me this he's given me power he's given me love he's given me good judgment amen yeah. so let's remember these things i'll give you a right there second timothy 2 15 says this what study to show yourself approved unto god a workman need not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth what we must do to stay focused get mm -hmm. the word of god get to the word of god yes. learn it get it in us so we can start doing what the word tells yes. us and we can start confessing what mm -hmm. the word of god says amen amen the word is powerful yes it is but it's not powerful in other words the word there's authority in his word there's power in his word mm -hmm. but we're not gonna, if we don't study it and we're not speaking it mm -hmm. there's not going to be no authority That's it. amen since the devil submit yourself to god resist the devil he'll flee yeah well if you're confessing the word of god he's going to have to flee because yeah. he, he has to honor the word of god mm -hmm. and he has to go he just don't sit there and laugh at you no <laughs> he's going to sit there and laugh at you if you say you see the word of God is sitting right there on the table and he wants you to go yeah. You're gonna laugh and he ain't going nowhere mm -hmm. Now when it starts coming out of you, it's something else yeah. <laughs> You show your authority by speaking his word. Amen. Woo, man That's good yeah. pastor Matthew yeah. six thirty three says this yeah. Stay focused seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added yeah. unto you so everybody has priority we all have work we have work to do and we have yeah. priorities and you do things by your little priority list mm -hmm. but you know what before all that comes mm -hmm. christ first yes and seek him first amen seek him first, seek him first. spend time with him yeah. before you head out into this world oh, amen. Yeah. otherwise yeah. you're going to be out yeah. of focus you want to stay focused when you're out there amen proverbs 18 21 in the amplifier says this says stay focused why because you know death and life are in the power of the tongue oh, yeah. death and life are in the words you're speaking mm -hmm. let's catch it yeah well i'm just speaking words i'm just throwing words around mm -hmm. well yeah. you're having what you say mm -hmm. i'm going to read it to you from three different translations here and those who love it and indulge in it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words yeah the contemporary english version says this proverbs 1821 says words can bring death or life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. talk too much and you will <laughs> eat everything you say <laughs> some of us need to know when to zip the lip some of us need to know when to be quiet mm -hmm. when to shut up <laughs> the proverbs 18 21 in the, in the uh, message bible says this listen to this words kill words give life they either poison or fruit oh my goodness you choose yeah this is this is down to earth this is english <laughs> you plant your garden and you reap and you gain, you earn, mm -hmm. you obtain what you sow. Because mm -hmm. you're sowing your garden. Mm -hmm. Man, that, some of us plant some nice garden. <laughs> and we grow nice gardens. But now we're talking about spiritually. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to be more careful with our spiritual garden. Yes. Because we want to plant the right things. Yes. So we want to 
do that by speaking the right words Amen. the things you say mm -hmm. what you sow what you plant what you see what you spread and scatter that's what you're going to reap yes, yes. amen what, what, what you plant what you sow what you sow faith in christ enables us to stay focused mm -hmm. stay positive in a negative world man you can write that down that's mm -hmm. what we're talking about faith in christ mm -hmm. how you know how you know your faith is going to increase your faith is going to grow by you learning his word yeah because when you learn his word you have more faith yeah. and you want to step out in faith right. on a daily basis yeah. and not in fear mm -hmm. because if you don't have faith you're fearful that's it and you're going to have fear uh, and you're not going to take any steps because mm -hmm. you are fearful yeah i say yeah. i'm not going anywhere mm -hmm. god told moses moses says i can't <laughs> he told a lot of them and then they said well you know i can't he told uh jonah he says i want you to go to minimum uh -huh. he says i'm not <laughs> until he got swallowed by a big fish and then he says okay i'll go where you want me to go oh, some of us see ourselves in situations you know where uh, we find ourselves yeah like the prodigal son you know eating with the pigs yeah in places we don't want to be and all of a sudden say okay lord i'll give you my life uh -huh. i'll be there for you i'll stay focused next time <laughs> come on now <laughs> watch your words and actions speak faith filled words and stay focused in a negative world stay positive amen positive testimonies Remember those positive testimonies those five powerful weapons that God gave 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 us gave believers. One of them is the blood of Jesus and the word of their testimony. Every one of us has a testimony. Amen. Stay focused. Stay positive. Take this. positive testimony. Kids, stay focused. Will bring others to Christ. Will bring others to Christ. Amen. When they hear your awesome testimony, God's going to use that to turn somebody around. In the same situation you used to be in but now they heard your testimony and they're going to come to christ amen just share it when god tells you to some of us don't want to but we need to if he's telling you to share it amen it's going to bring others to christ mm -hmm. amen yeah negative testimonies will push them away so stay positive stay focused and positive in a negative world you need to write that down uh, and you need to post that before you go anywhere you need to post it in your car <laughs> and before you step out of your car or before somebody bumps you and shoots you says hi to you with the middle finger you're gonna say oh i gotta stay positive i gotta stay focused amen people do this to you i don't i mean i'm not the only one they do this to them <laughs> don't have to look so far as to find and see negative things Amen. Anywhere you go. You can see it on TV. You can see it everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful. People, including believers, are quick to lose their focus and start speaking negative. Remember? Renew your mind to the things of God. If you're not in the Word and you're not confessing the Word and you just let yourself go, guess what? Pretty soon, you're going to start doing what the world does. You're going to start speaking what the world is saying. I said, wow, how did that happen? When you go back and you realize, yeah. well, you know what? I haven't been spending time with the Lord. I haven't been spending time in the Word. And man, I just let myself down. I lost focus. You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused on Him. Yeah. And you got to do this all the time. Yeah. Not just sometimes. You know, somebody hire you to do a job, and they want you to be focused on what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And take care of your responsibilities if you're not doing this you know <laughs> you're not doing your job we need to stay focused on doing our calling our job unto god amen we need to fulfill that call we need to stay focused on what he's called us to do and don't no more excuses about i can't <laughs> all right amen. <laughs> oh, don't want to go here, huh? No. Basically, if you let yourself go and lose focus, basically what you're going to do is you're going to start magnifying the problem instead of magnifying God. And we've talked about this so many times. 
You know, who, what, are, what, what, are you, what are you magnifying? Are you magnifying him first and then the problem? Or you might just magnify him, don't magnify the problem. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Woo, church beware, be careful. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. And fulfill the mission God has put you on. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're the gospel church, the good news church, the positive church, not the gossip church, not the bad news church. Mm -hmm. But really be focused on the things God wants us to do. Amen. And we're going to be focused in speaking what God wants us to say. Amen. Keep going, Carmen. Let me see what you got. Stay focused on your goals, your peace, and your ha happiness. Don't waste your time on anything that doesn't contribute to your growth. Hmm. Amen. Continue. Growth you can use as mature, maturity in the things of God, growing in the things of God. You can't stay a baby Christian all your life. <laughs> or a part-time uh, Christian believer is no match to a full-time devil. Hmm. How am I going to grow to be a, a mature Christian, a mature believer? Amen. Says, don't waste your time on things that doesn't contribute to your growth. Yeah. <laughs> don't waste your time on negative people that are not going to add to you. That's it. Amen. You can pray for them, but you don't uh -huh. have to hang out with them. That's it. Amen. Because they ain't going to contribute to you. As a matter of fact, if you're not renewed to the things of God, they can be a distraction and pull oh, you away. That's it. Amen. Hey, you know, hey, go out with me this one time, mm -hmm. you know. Forgetting, you know, you're too devoted to those things, you know. You, you're too focused on those things. It's time you stay out of focus and just do a little bit of this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't please God and the world at the same time. That's it. Amen. So, let's remember that. Enemy is not giving up on you. That's it. He wants to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, stay focused because I have come that you might have life and yes. have it more abundantly. abundantly. But you got to stay focused mm -hmm. because the enemy is out there. There's a roaring lion seeking who you may devour. devour. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know how he's going to devour you? Mm -hmm. You know how he's going to tell mm -hmm. if, he, if he can have you? Mm -hmm. By the words you speak. By the words you speak. You're going around speaking negative, says, man, you're mine. Mm. And you open the door. And guess what he's going to do? If you open the door, he's going to walk in. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what Jesus is doing? Uh, uh, uh. He's knocking. Mm -hmm. And you ain't never opened the door for him. Mm -hmm. But the enemy, he's got an open door. Just yeah. come on in. Have your way. Yeah, he's going to have his way. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is still knocking. <laughs> We got to let him in. He says, if yes. I come in, I, I can sup with you and you yeah. with me. Mm -hmm. We need to remember that some of you, it's time to come home. Mm. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> we also put limits on him. Take the limits off. Mm -hmm. Christ, Jesus has no limits. We put limits on him. Yeah. We got to take the limits off. Amen. John 16, uh, 33 says, these things... I have spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. Uh -huh. But be of good cheer. I have overcome, overcome the, world. the world. You know how I overcome the world? Mm -hmm. Stay focused yeah. on the things of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to stay focused. Don't lose focus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're watching a movie or something. When you're watching something and you lose focus, oh, man. I got, you you got to work right away to try to get some focus on this. Mm -hmm. Stay focused. Yes. Stay positive with a winning attitude in the yes. negative world. Amen. Seek him first. Mm -hmm. Put him first. Yes. Put his word first. Uh, Psalms uh, 118.24 says what? This is the day the yeah. Lord has made. I will yeah. stay yeah. focused. Yeah. I will stay focused. I will rejoice and be glad yeah. in him. Yes. He said, if it's sunshine, if it's raining, if it's storming or whatever, still. I am going to have, I'm going to be glad and rejoice and stay focused on the things of God. I'm not going to lose track. I'm not going to lose focus. Did I say enough? <laughs> <laughs> Refuse to quit when things get tough. Oh, when yeah. things get tough, the tough get going. going. He tells us to press on. He never says to quit or go back. He tells us, don't go back, don't look back. That's it. That's what he told a lot coming out of Nineveh. Uh -huh. I mean, out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, 
I'm gonna take care of this. You just press on. Don't look back. Don't look back. And you know, some of us have stepped away from our past, you know, but a lot of times we just wanna look back and go back. <laughs> And the past has still got us in prison. We got to come out of that prison. Yes. Amen. That was just a, a, a passing through. Mm. He didn't mean for you to stay there. That's it. <laughs> he set you free uh -huh. and you still, mm. some of us, he set free a long time ago and we're still in bondage. Yeah. And we're still prisoners. Mm. Why? Because we have not taken the opportunity mm. to know his word and mm. speak his word and say, wow, this thing's just changed. Yeah. And you need to change too. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> I will rejoice and be glad in it. Refuse to quit when things get tough. Mm -hmm. Let go and let God. Mm -hmm. We put limits on him, take the limits off. Yeah. When things get tough, tough believers stay focused and yeah. they press on. Yeah. That's what he wants us to do. You know that armor he gave us? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the armor one day. But that armor he gave us, there's nothing for the backside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything's in the front. That means we're pressing on. Mm -hmm. We're coming forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> there's protection in the front. There ain't no protection in the back, so don't yes, turn around. Don't turn around. You're an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus, Moses, David, all the Bible heroes got used. All these, except Jesus, were not perfect. Mm -hmm. They had sin in their lives. And us, we've sinned. Mm -hmm. Some people tell you, you sin, God can't use you anymore. That's a lie. Yeah. Well, show me scripture. You say repent, confess it, repent, mm -hmm. and, and press on. It says, mm -hmm. get busy. I called you to do something. Now yeah. it's time to press on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be available. Yeah. Stay focused, be available. Participate, mm -hmm. submit, commit, and be involved. That's mm -hmm. what he wants you to do. He wants you to be involved in the yeah. things of God. Amen. Stay focused, yeah. stay hungry, and stay filled with him. Yes. Woo. Be positive. Man, I like that. Yeah. Stay focused. And I, I've seen some of you watching the football game. <laughs> Can't even talk to you. No, no, no. no. Can't even no. talk to you. Yeah, I, talk, I really talk to the wall. They pay more attention. They more oh, focus Jesus. there. But man, you focus on things you want, things you like. You are focused. Amen. Oh, you man, you saw a nice dress you like. You see a nice clothing you like. Something nice you like. Mm. Nice car. Nice truck. Mm -hmm. Man, you are focused. And we're gonna do everything to get this. <laughs> we don't do that with the things of God mm. but we need to be focused yeah. on the things of God because you know what <laughs> when you're focused on him he's going to bless you Yes. yes Amen. Yeah. he's going to bless you so let's remember that stand and continue to stand in him mm -hmm. uh, see the good in all and not just the fault yes, some of good. us are real good in just identifying mm -hmm. the fault nobody can do it like you Mm. Because you're perfect. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to go there now. <laughs> Remember to stop the negative talk. Mm. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Control your words again. Guard your mouth. Zip the lip. Don't be hung by the tongue. Think before you speak. Mm -hmm. The battlefield is the mind. Amen. And you must renew your mind. Yes. Amen. Amen. Taste words before you spit them out. <laughs> Taste words before you spit them out. Amen. And here, magnify him and not the problem. Yes. And we're going to do this and then we're going to close here. Amen. Praise but God. Philippians 4, 6 in the NIV says this. Mm -hmm. Do not be anxious about anything. Amen. But in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Yes. God wants you to have true peace and not worry about anything. Worrying is sin. Yes. Amen. It means that you're not trusting God. Mm -hmm. That is bad. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you have faith and you're focused on Him, you're going to trust Him. Yes. And you're going to do it. If He says step out and there's a cliff there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to trust him. He told Peter to step out into the water. He said, well, I don't know how to swim, 
Nah, I don't want to drown, so I'm not going. No, he stepped out in faith mm -hmm. and he walked until he saw himself and he says, I can't do this. Yeah. So he started sinking. Uh -huh. But as long as you're obedient and yeah. focus on him, you know, it's going to work. Right. Amen. Praise God. If you pray, don't worry. And if you don't worry, if I pray. If I pray. You need, you need to write this down. Amen. <laughs> so we give the negative, we give the enemy more power than we give our God. We give problems more power than yeah. we give our God. Yeah. Which one are you magnifying more? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Magnify him more. Yes. First Peter uh, 5, 7 is the same. He says, cast all cares, all anxieties on him because he cares for you. Yeah. God has called us to fulfill our mission. And as we go about fulfilling, we must get rid of all the cares, all the anxieties, all the extra weights. Yes. And have peace of mind. Amen. By doing this, we can stay focused and positive in this negative world. Yeah. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Praise God. Did you get something from it? Yes. I hope yeah. you do, because I did. Mm -hmm. If you're not catching it, you know, just come on up here and we're gonna pray for you for you to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. Because <laughs> the enemy comes in here and you can steal it. And if you're not focused on the things of God, you're going to lose it. Amen. So, praise God. Father, we just thank you for your word. Thank you for the opportunity yes. to share your word, Lord. Help us, Lord, to grow and go for you, Father. Yes. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, help us all to stay focused on you, Father. Amen. Yes. Some of you, giving you the opportunity, you've never come to Christ. Now is the time. Amen. Yes. Don't wait till it's too late. That's right. So anyway, if you never accepted Christ, all you have to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. You know what? He's going to do that. Yes. He's not going to turn you down. We turn him down. Yes. But we need to stay on him. And we need to stay focused on him. Amen. So yes. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And uh, if you have sickness in your body, we just confess that by Jesus Christ, we are healed. Amen. Yes. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And we rebuke any spirit of infirmity and command it to go in Jesus' name. Lord, I speak healing over this body. Lord, I thank you that there's no malfunctions in this body. Everything functioning the way you created it to yes. function. Yes. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Receive your healing. Amen. Just say that. I receive my healing in Jesus' yes. name. So yes. praise God. And it's time to give. Those of you watching, you can give. Um, just uh, look at our, our our website there. Our website is nbcbigben.com. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, just want you to know God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.